Okay, so here's my uh, ham radio power box. Uh, it's just a Plano ammo can. I believe it came from Amazon. Uh, $14 or $19, something like that. Uh, this is a four-way uh, device from PowerWorks. I bought the screws from Lowe's. And in the upper left, I have a cigarette lighter uh, adapter, which I have never used yet. Uh, down on the bottom is a 4.8 amp uh, USB charger and I plug my iPad and my iPhone into that and it's actually very quiet. Um, you'll see that uh, you can put anything you want in there. Uh, this is the uh, Anderson power poles and I plug that into a little breakout box that has a, uh, a separate uh, current meter. If you turn the switch on uh, that enables all the accessories. There's an LED there and a power meter on top and an LED on top. Uh, the power meter you can cycle through and see the percentage and you can see what the voltage is and if you don't want to use that you can just hold it in and uh, turn it off. A lot of times I don't even use it so I just leave it turned off. But the cool thing with the LEDs are um, if you're camping or something like that you can turn the one switch one direction and turn the one down on the front flip it the other way and it turns the one on the top. I didn't really see a need to run both of them at the same time so I just put a switch in there and one does one on the bottom and one on the top. Uh, there's really nothing on the other side you know obviously here's where you open it up and I keep a bunch of stuff inside of it. Uh, lots of room for storage even with the 20 amp hour battery. I have the uh, BioNO uh, charger if I want to plug it in and, and charge it with an AC outlet. I have a USB-C cable that I can use for whatever I need and I have two uh, Apple uh, lightning adapters one for the iPhone and one for the iPad and I have one of these little power meters you can buy them anywhere this one the little screen savers in pretty bad shape on it but it's nice so you can see how much uh, current you've used and then I built this little device here uh, which I'll plug the uh, the uh, current meter into that and that's from um, uh, K9JEB, I believe it is, or K8JEB. It has uh, three USB chargers, has a little little voltage meter on it. And let me see what else here. Um, yeah, I just plug into the 30 amp connection on this and then you know, separate fused outlets on it. And then inside here, I usually keep my stick, uh, Rig Expert stick analyzer. So I have that if I need to use it and most of the wiring in it all of the wiring off of the anderson power poles is is about uh, uh 10 gauge or 12 gauge this is the charger for the bio no battery um i bought a um a female connector and a male connector and i'm going to put uh, the one on the side so I can plug in directly on the side here and not have to open the lid on the box. A lot of times when I come back home um, I have to open everything up, take everything out and plug it in. So this way I can just plug it in. Now I'm going to put two standoffs here on the side and then I can hang my uh, solar charge controller there and then I'll be able to plug it into that jack that I'm going to put on the side right there and again I won't have to worry about opening it up. I can just plug in right there and uh, keep the can closed all the time and how rainproof it is i don't know i mean i'm sure just in a in a little bit of a rain it would be okay but um for the most part uh it never gets gets rained on too much some people up above there they'll put uh banana plugs or some banana jacks and there's room in the top lots of room for the wiring but um just for the small stuff i have small gauge wire but what i did was all of the um the power poles are hot all the time. I really didn't see a need to uh, power the uh, switch the power poles on and off since they have a cover on it. But that smaller gauge wire is just for uh, um, for the accessories. So again, you can buy that little square thing there at um, uh, PowerWorks and uh, all the all the accessories. It's expensive to do, but once you do it one time, you have it, and uh, it's worked out very good for me. But where the um, Anderson power poles go, like I said, they're, they're hot all the time. There was just not really a reason to switch them. So that's it.